have you with us yet again. And um, what's the plan, Dad? Well, today, after a very heavy day yesterday, ooh, a lot of videos yesterday. I think we made five videos yesterday. That's how hard we worked and edited most of it last night as well. So we didn't get sleep till midnight. So today is a nice day for you, Mazzy. I'm just going to take you to see the most beautiful roof you've ever seen in your life. Ooh, sounds intriguing. Followed by... A nice gentle stroll in the woods. Oh, wonderful. With some exciting things to see in there. That's that, all I'm going to say. That sounds great. But we're a bit on the drag today, aren't we? Well, you're on the drag. I've been ready for two hours. <laughs> it's like 10 o'clock in the morning and we've got a two hour drive ahead of us. Yeah, it's a long way. Well, an hour and a half left. It's a long way to the next site. So we're more or less moving over to, more to the east of Scotland now. But uh, we're in no rush. No, it's Sunday. Lazy Sunday. Yeah, very lazy Sunday. <laughs> right, Mazzy. Yes. Right, Mazzy. I should have put my coat on. Just driving along. Yeah. We're seeing something pretty spectacular. Yeah. Just go have a look at it from over there. I want your reaction on camera. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. Wow, I've no idea where we are or what that is, it's like a big dam but look at the water coming down there, that is amazing. So the place is called Lagan Dam, it is absolutely fantastic, like the bridge itself or whatever, you, the dam itself looks fantastic, but the water shooting out of there, that is unbelievable. And just at this side, you can hear like it's like an engine which is running it and it sounds just like a steam train. Fantastic. The British Aluminium Company Limited, Lockaba Water Power. And there it is, Lagan Dam. If you want to read about it, fill your boots, there you go. Tells you how big it is there. But it's funny, I was just saying to Mazzy on the way here, I says, we've never been on this road before, have we? No. Neither of us. So it could be quite interesting. There could be things on here which, uh, you know, we've never seen. Stuff we don't know what, seen. we don't know what, yeah, something interesting on the way. And you don't get much more interesting than that. Fantastic. Right, let's move on. So you've just had an experience of a lifetime. Yeah, first for me. And? Just getting to the toilet. <laughs> There's more to it than that. It was a compost toilet. And I've never been on one like that before in my life. You, you do your business, in my case a number two. <laughs> and then you, you open a lid up and you get loads of sawdust shavings kind of thing and you throw it down this big hole it's like a seven foot drop a big hole and you can see everyone's business and what was that you just said to me you said you found it fascinating that you can see everything inside this big hole <laughs> <laughs> it was fascinating seeing the process of composting wow new experience yeah. you... it were all right with that i quite enjoyed it so, babe, yeah. can you explain why we're four hours and ten minutes into this two-hour journey this morning? I've absolutely no idea. <laughs> Everything's just going wrong today. The place I want to take you with the most amazing roof ever. Yeah. The way to get there, the road was closed. So we're having to come a long way around, down this side of the river, and cross a bridge further down. Oh, I see. Um, which is taking us well out of the way, but I'm determined to show everybody, including yourself, the best ceiling in the world. It better be good. I better be, not get stuck, that's my worry. 
The roads are getting narrower and narrower and narrower. I know, it's getting worrying. But there's some beautiful scenery out here now, guys. So I'm not sure what this quirky little town is called. What's this called? Absolutely no idea, but it's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it seems quite a big town, but it's so quaint and cute and lovely. That's a whiskey distillery. Oh. We were just saying, can't ever imagine a whiskey distillery at all being interesting, but that looks like an amazing building. Yeah. So here we are, it's taken us about four hours to get to this point today. Four and a half. Four and a half. <laughs> St Mary's Church. Been now anywhere. don't worry, it's not like your average church which we take you to. This is special. It doesn't look like a church. But inside there's something quite extraordinary. One of the best roofs in the world. Ooh. <laughs> What did you just say? Oh, sorry. It don't look much. <laughs> it doesn't look much. What are you no. on about? It looks beautiful. It looks like a big barn. Well, yeah. But you just wait till you get inside. All right, come on in. Come and have a look. Oh, wow. Wow. Do you like it? Yeah. Why do you like it? It's just a common little boring barn, isn't it? It used to be a church, it's from the 1500s, it's about 520 years old. What? Why? 520 years old. Why do you like it so much? It's boring, surely. Because there's paintings on the ceiling. Paintings, what? Paintings on the ceiling. On the ceiling? Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Look at that. I have to say, oh, there's supposed to be a light you can turn on, isn't there? I read. Yeah, I think if you press that on, it, it makes it even better. Well, I hope it does. That's a bit better. Now we can see it. Oh, that is pretty. <laughs> Look at this, you've got like ladies or queens. Yeah, that's. That's a queen with a crown on. And this people, the actual ceiling is 400 years old, all these uh, paintings. You've even got writing up there, the Laird of Grantville. And, I don't know, Zvik, is that Duke is it meant to mean? Zvik of Lennox, I'm guessing that's a Duke. You've got them Dam Agnets of Moncree, Earl of Athoyle, which is where we were just, we were nearly there. That's where the museum was I wanted to take you to, Mazzy. Oh. So that's the coat of arms of the guy from there. Yeah, it's all very, very nice. What's in where? Go have a look, go have a look, it's a, a little cupboard. Mm. I've just had a look, there's some really cool stuff in there. Oh. oh, look. Oh, oh I see. I think it's a collection, I think we're meant to leave money. Maybe it's lucky, we'll have to do that. Yeah, pound coin there, someone's paid a pound. We've got 20p. I haven't got any for change. <laughs> oh yeah, I might have, I have in my pocket, we will leave something, yeah. Let's see what we've got. There, we'll leave a quid. Well worth it. Beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah, what's under there? It's got to be something cool. Go on, lift it up, see what's underneath. <laughs> I'm picking up you lift this bit up. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. give up on that one, I think. So Mazzy's just found something and she won't let me have a look until she's had a look. You found a paddle. What is it? What is it? I don't really know. You don't know? Well... Too much writing. Too much writing, okay. Yeah. It's all about the painted ceiling. Well, everyone have a read of that if you want to... If anyone's interested.
I think it basically tells you what each of the different paintings are on the ceiling. So if anyone wants to read it, they can. I've recorded it for you. Um, I'm not that bothered really. I just like to look at it. It looks cool. So I'll put the paddle back and we'll be on his way. Very impressed with this place. You know, the way they've put lighting in there. They've even got oh, dehumidifiers to stop it from getting too damp, I suppose. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Just a nice quickie. Thought I'd give you a quick look. We can't go around the back. There's a cemetery, but apparently we're not allowed in it. Oh. I was reading on uh, yeah, on the internet. Going into a well, I don't know. I don't know the <laughs> reasons. It's private or something. I don't know. So the graveyard, it turns out, you can go in. It's just not part of historic environment Scotland. So we can go in. Let's have a quick look in here, see if there's any interesting gravestones. I can see one for a start. Yeah. Just here. Let's have a quick look at that one. And this one here, 1784. Look at the back of this one. Wow. It's like an angel's head with wings. At... No, I can't tell. That's fantastic, it's like a little man. Some other man with a little lamb there. That looks like a brick wall. So maybe he's a builder. A little Bible or book. This is very popular in this graveyard ahead with wings. There's one behind here which you can see, whoa, a bit better. Look at that, yeah, you've got your egg timer. Well, your timer. Uh, that just looks like a skull, I think. That's a coffin. And then again, you've got this on top. Okay, we've just had a quick look around. Yeah. Just a couple of nice ones in there, wasn't there? But there's this on the way yeah, out. Look. I just saw this. You can hardly see it. it's covered in moss again. But again, this is such a big thing in this village. The head with the wings. It's on nearly every grave. Yeah, beautiful little place, especially in the in the snow. And a beautiful ceiling in the church. St Mary's Church, get yourself there for a quick look. So that really was a lovely quirky place, wasn't it? It wasn't bad. It's just something you, you have to see if you're passing. Yeah. I'm just thinking maybe some people might be wondering how we actually know about these little quirky places. Do you want to explain how we sort of research our days and plan our days? Yeah, if you like. I look on the route we're taking I write down every single village name town city and then I type in all them into TripAdvisor and anything of any kind of interest I make a list of and then I just look at each one on the internet and see which ones we fancy going to uh, that's the main way and then to fill gaps, we try to look for ghost stories and battlefields and anything of interest. It's a lot of time and effort, isn't it? Come an evening, the day doesn't end, does it's it? It's a lot of time and effort, yeah. Yeah. Yesterday we finished working at midnight. Yeah. We were up at six o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, it's not easy. A lot of planning. But uh, it's worthwhile. Definitely. And the, the best website I find for finding out about places like that is called Britain Express. Oh, okay. So that's the best website. It's people who've gone there and written a review of the place and put loads of pictures in. It's not like Wikipedia where it's all a bit too formal. It's more like someone's view of the place and it can be really, really good. So Britain Express, check that one out. And then what we do is we have an app called Pocket and I'd advise anyone to get that, spelt P-O-C-K-E-T, Pocket. And when you're on a web page of interest, you can save the page into Pocket and then you can still read the page when you're offline. Because a lot of these places you don't have a signal because they're in the middle of nowhere. So you can just click on your Pocket, click on the page and it shows you the web page so you can read about it whilst you're in the place 
and uh, you know get all your facts and figures so you don't have to memorize it all it's all there in front of you when you're offline well that's your new way of doing it isn't it the old way you used to do it you used to print hundreds of sheets off of facts right. stories and then highlight everything so yeah it's a bit more input than i think people might imagine you do really doing it know. on printing it out is the best way but it's impossible on a the way we live nowadays it's impossible to do that yeah. there's not enough time not enough ink um, but pocket is a good alternative so we're in his van and we're having something to eat aren't we <laughs> yes yeah what are we having chip party me we've now. been to a fish and chip shop which is quite, it's quite embarrassing if you're English going into a proper Scottish fish and chip shop because they have the weirdest things on their menu and you don't know what they are. Uh, what we've ended up settling on is a jumbo, what did they call that, sausage? That was huge. Well, yeah, I took a little bit of... King it. sausage or yeah. something, I don't know what they called it, with chips. It's called a kingfish supper or whatever. This is weird. I've got, it's called ribs, king ribs or something. It's basically uh, ribs like you imagine sticky ribs, but with no sauce and no bones. It's like ribs battered with chips. The chips are absolutely amazing, we'll give them that. And Mazzy asked for a pie, a chicken pie, and some curry sauce. She got a, she got a chicken pie. And she was complaining because she didn't get a curry sauce. What they've done is put the curry sauce in the chicken pie. <laughs> <laughs>